boot for Apache, Apache Kafka. Uh, let's start. Uh, here is a, a plan of uh, my presentation. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going uh, to speak about uh, Kafka itself, uh, uh, give a short uh, introduction, uh, give a basic uh, concepts, uh, and uh, then speak uh, about uh, the ways of uh, usage uh, of uh, Spring uh, uh, Boot uh, with Apache Kafka. Uh, what uh, Apache Kafka itself? It's uh, a distributed uh, commit uh, log. Uh, it has uh, such uh, uh, characteristics uh, that it's uh, high scalable, uh, fault tolerant, and uh, allows uh, high levels of uh, parallelism. Uh, it was uh, first uh, developed uh, by LinkedIn, and uh, uh, then uh, it uh, uh, was donated uh, to Apache Software Foundation and now maintained uh, by Confluent. Also, Confluent uh, uh, develops uh, uh, not only Kafka itself, uh, but libraries uh, that are used in Java uh, and uh, uh, other uh, tools uh, such as Control Center and uh, Schema Registry. I will talk about that later. Uh, how uh, replication uh, works in Kafka, uh, it uh, means uh, that we have uh, uh, multiple copies of the same uh, data uh, spread across uh, multiple servers uh, brokers. Uh, that uh, helps uh, uh, to maintain uh, high av uh, availability of data in case uh, if uh, one of uh, the uh, servers goes down. Uh, uh, there are different uh, uh, policies uh, uh, how uh, the data are partitioned uh, uh, and uh, maintained uh, in uh, uh, in brokers. Uh, generally, uh, we have uh, uh, one uh, broker as a leader, and other uh, brokers are, are in sync. Uh, Spring Boot uh, uh, brings uh, the programming uh, model and uh, provides uh, best uh, practices uh, for building um, uh, modern applications. It uh, reduces uh, time of uh, development uh, and uh, provides a connection for different uh, data storages. Uh, what uh, we have uh, here uh, for Kafka, it uh, provides uh, uh, a configuration of uh, connection uh, to uh, Kafka and uh, configuration of uh, a connection to schema registry uh, uh, and uh, schema registration. It's all then uh, done automatically. Uh, talking about uh, uh, Kafka, uh, we uh, may remind about uh, other uh, approaches uh, of uh, uh, messaging. Uh, the other pro uh, Kafka uses uh, a pool based approach. Uh, that means uh, that uh, producers uh, 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 produce messages uh, to uh, this uh, commit log, uh, and uh, uh, clients uh, are responsible uh, to get messages of uh, uh, this uh, log. Uh, it uh, has uh, some advantage advantages compared to, to uh, other approaches, uh, uh, such as uh, push based. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the uh, main uh, alternative uh, for Kafka, RabbitMQ, uses uh, push-based uh, uh, push approach, and uh, it uh, uses uh, uh, the model of uh, uh, debuted message queue. Uh, comparing uh, Kafka and RabbitMQ and uh, these uh, two approaches, uh, we uh, see that uh, they uh, are uh, quite different. Uh, while uh, uh, Kafka uh, provides a uh, message uh, order in, uh, in uh, the partition, uh, and uh, uh, Kafka uh, is a uh, log uh, and retains uh, messages, uh, 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 RabbitMQ is a queue, uh, where these messages, messages are not uh, ordered, and uh, uh, they are deleted uh, from the queue when they are uh, read uh, by consumers. 
Uh, also, there is uh, no guarantee of atomicity in uh, Rabbit uh, MQ, while uh, in Kafka, uh, order is uh, uh, inside uh, a partition. And uh, uh, there is a guarantee of a whole batch of, uh, method, uh, of uh, messages in, uh, in Kafka. Uh, the basic uh, concepts of uh, Kafka is a broker. Uh, it's a uh, not of uh, the cluster uh, because uh, usually uh, we use uh, Kafka in clusters and uh, we call a single uh, server, single node of it uh, broker. Uh, uh, also, there are topics in Kafka. Uh, topic is a stream of uh, uh, records. Uh, there, uh, can be uh, multiple writers and uh, readers uh, in a topic. It's uh, partitioned and uh, it's uh, replicated. Uh, partition uh, is, uh, while a topic uh, is uh, logical, uh, uh, has a logical meaning, the partition is a physical uh, meaning. It's uh, some uh, file uh, uh, and the smallest storage uh, unit. Uh, uh, which uh, holds uh, the records owned uh, by the topic. Uh, usually one uh, topic uh, has uh, uh, a few partitions and uh, these uh, partitions uh, allow uh, uh, parallelism and uh, replication uh, for the topic, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, uh, the messages uh, inside uh, topic uh, uh, are uh, uh, sorted uh, uh, in uh, in the order. Uh, while uh, there is no the guarantee that uh, uh, messages uh, uh, between uh, dif uh, different partitions uh, uh, will be in uh, the same order. Uh, there is uh, there are uh, few policies uh, of uh, deletion records uh, in uh, Kafka. Uh, there is a delete uh, compact uh, uh, strategy and combination of uh, both. Uh, delete strategy uh, means uh, that uh, out uh, messages uh, are uh, deleted at some point, uh, for example, starting from uh, uh, some date. A compact uh, approach uh, uh, means uh, that uh, deleted all messages uh, that uh, have uh, the same uh, key as the new messages so that uh, only one message uh, with a key uh, is uh, stored and uh, there is a combination of uh, these approaches mm. also a basic uh, concepts uh, is a producer and consumer producer uh, pushes uh, messages into Kafka topic while consumer uh, pulls messages of uh, Kafka topic. Uh, usually uh, uh, when we uh, mean consumer, uh, we have uh, a group of consumers. Uh, group of consumers uh, uh, has uh, uh, the same uh, offset uh, and uh, the messages from Kafka topic uh, are read uh, by this uh, offset. Uh, offset is uh, uh, stored uh, on uh, the site uh, of uh, uh, Kafka in uh, Zookeeper. Uh, I will talk about that a little later. Uh, and uh, that allows uh, parallelism of uh, uh, reading uh, messages uh, from uh, the topic. Uh, usually, uh, we have uh, the same number of uh, uh, of consu consumers uh, in consumer uh, group uh, as uh, we have a number of uh, partitions uh, in uh, the topic. Uh, if there are uh, more consumers, uh, some of them uh, are idle and uh, uh, they, uh, they can be used uh, if uh, uh, active consumer uh, becomes uh, inaccessible. Uh, and uh, there is a guarantee that uh, a uh, message uh, from the topic is uh, read only uh, by one consumer in uh, the consumer group. Uh, of course, there uh, can be uh, different uh, consumers and consumers group, and they can read uh, uh, the same uh, message uh, uh, many times. Uh, here is the example of a consumer uh, in uh, Java. 
uh, for consumer, uh, I use uh, the annotation Kafka listener uh, that uh, contains uh, the name of a topic uh, uh, where it uh, receives uh, the messages. Uh, for uh, producer, uh, uh, I use uh, a Kafka template uh, with, uh, which is uh, provided uh, by S S Spring uh, and uh, it is used uh, to send messages uh, to the topic. Uh, Zookeeper uh, is uh, uh, the storage of Kafka uh, metadata. Uh, it uh, has uh, several functions. Uh, uh, its functions uh, are controller election. Uh, it uh, selects the controller uh, uh, and uh, which uh, uh, the broker is responsible for maintaining the leader and follower relationship uh, for partition. Uh, cluster membership, it uh, keeps a list of all functioning brokers uh, in the cluster. Uh, topic configuration. Uh, the keeper maintains a uh, uh, configuration of uh, all topics. Uh, access control lists and uh, uh, quotas. Uh, the keeper access uh, how much data it, uh, client, uh, each client is allowed to uh, read and write. Uh, here is a, a Kafka architecture uh, with a Kafka cluster that contains uh, uh, several brokers. Uh, Zookeeper uh, that uh, contains uh, uh, metadata and uh, uh, producer, uh, producers and consumers uh, get uh, information uh, from it. Uh, and uh, uh, consumers. Uh, usually, when we uh, use uh, Kafka, we need uh, to select uh, another uh, data format uh, for messages. Uh, by default, uh, JSON is used, uh, but it's uh, uh, not a very good uh, format. Uh, so in uh, production, uh, we may use uh, other formats. Uh, different uh, formats can be used, uh, but uh, Apache Ava and uh, Google Protocol buffers uh, are the most uh, suitable uh, formats. Uh, uh, the criteria, criteria of selection is efficiency, uh, ease of use, and uh, support uh, in uh, different uh, programming languages. Both uh, uh, these uh, uh, formats uh, are uh, good uh, by these uh, criteria. Uh, these uh, formats are used uh, to data exchange between system and uh, they are binary. Uh, here is a comparison of uh, uh, other and uh, protocol buffers uh, with the JSON. Uh, the advantages of uh, uh, binary formats such as other and uh, protocol buffer over JSON is uh, that uh, they have a schema definition. Uh, also, that uh, allows, uh, allows uh, to keep uh, uh, size uh, smaller uh, compared to uh, JSON uh, string format. Uh, and uh, the data is uh, validated uh, uh, on uh, the uh, writing uh, uh, the messages uh, to the topic. Uh, uh, Schemas uh, have uh, a lot of uh, advantages, and uh, uh, they let uh, producer of consumer, uh, producer and consumer, uh, to know the uh, data uh, for format and uh, write fields and uh, uh, what uh, these uh, fields uh, should contain. Uh, also, there is a possibility of uh, schema evolution. That means uh, that uh, we uh, may uh, have uh, one schema at the first and uh, then change that uh, in the future. Uh, here is an example of uh, uh, our uh, schema. Our is uh, usually described uh, with uh, uh, JSON. Uh, 
uh, there is a, a, a plugin for uh, Java uh, that allows uh, to create uh, uh, Java objects uh, from uh, the uh, from these uh, uh, format uh, descriptions. And here is uh, uh, an example of uh, uh, photograph uh, message definition. Uh, it uh, uses uh, another format uh, than JSON for definition. Uh, there is also uh, the plugins uh, to create uh, uh, Java objects uh, from uh, from this definition. Here is uh, this. Uh, uh, the architecture of uh, uh, schema registry. Uh, it uh, uh, works uh, like that, uh, uh, that uh, we have uh, a schema on uh, producer side, and uh, this uh, uh, schema is uh, sent to uh, schema registry. Uh, after that, uh, when we send uh, messages uh, itself uh, to Kafka, we don't uh, include uh, the whole schema in the message. Uh, we only add uh, the schema ID. Uh, it's uh, all done under the code. Uh, when uh, consumer receives the data, uh, it uh, gets a schema from the schema registry. Uh, and uh, uh, can uh, deserialize uh, messages uh, read uh, from a uh, topic uh, uh, with uh, the schema ID. Here I mostly uh, talk about uh, con a confluent uh, schema registry, uh, which uh, uh, provides a centralized, a centralized repository for managing and validating schemas uh, for topic messages uh, data. Uh, here is an example of uh, uh, Kafka Hour with uh, schema registry. Uh, uh, schema registration is uh, done uh, automatically here by Spring. Uh, uh, I put in uh, a schema registry uh, URL, and uh, after that, uh, schema defined uh, in the project uh, sent there. Uh, there are uh, serialization libraries uh, for Avar and uh, uh, in uh, Java. Uh, there is uh, Kafka Avar uh, serializer and Kafka Avar deserializer. Uh, and uh, they are provided uh, by uh, Kafka uh, Avar serializer library. Uh, to use them, uh, we uh, can uh, simply uh, add uh, uh, them as a property of uh, key serializer and uh, uh, value serializer and key deserializer and value deserializer in pro producer and consumer. And uh, after that, the messages uh, sent uh, to Kafka will be in uh, that uh, format. Uh, the Above uh, Kafka is the Streams API. Streams API is a client uh, library for Java. Uh, that means that uh, nothing in Kafka itself uh, changes and uh, uh, messages uh, are stored in the same way, but we have uh, a library that uh, allows uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to read and uh, manage uh, the events uh, of a stream in uh, Java. Uh, stream uh, has uh, such properties that uh, infinite uh, unbounded, uh, it's append only, immutable, ordered, replayable, and uh, fault tolerant. Uh, here we uh, mean a Kafka topic uh, as a stream. Uh, there are uh, several client uh, approaches. Uh, uh, such as uh, producer consumer, uh, Kafka streams uh, API, and KSQL. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, I want to uh, talk uh, about uh, the last approach, uh, but it's uh, some language uh, used uh, uh, to manage uh, data in uh, Kafka uh, stream, uh, Kafka topics, uh, uh, similar to uh, the one that we have with SQL. Uh, 
Uh, the other approaches uh, are uh, consumer producer and uh, Kafka things. Uh, they uh, trade, uh, there is uh, a trade off of uh, flexibility to simplicity. Uh, Kafka streams uh, allows uh, all the same actions that can be done uh, by producer and uh, consumer itself. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, using uh, Kafka streams, it requires uh, much less uh, code and uh, uh, can be done easily. Uh, for uh, Kafka streams, uh, we uh, need to uh, use uh, another uh, libraries uh, for serialization and uh, deserialization. Uh, Kafka streams application uh, might have, uh, must uh, provide uh, servers. Uh, a server is a concept of a combination of uh, serializer and uh, deserializer in uh, one class. Uh, and uh, for usage of uh, these uh, servers uh, with uh, Kafka uh, streams, uh, we have uh, such a, a configuration. Uh, and that means that messages uh, in stream uh, are considered to be in other uh, format. Uh, there are servers uh, for uh, basic uh, types, and uh, we can provide uh, more servers uh, uh, for our custom types. Uh, Streams uh, uh, provides uh, join uh, uh, provides uh, operations that can be done uh, on the events from uh, the topic. Uh, uh, the example of such operations uh, uh, are join operations so when uh, we uh, have uh, uh, data from different uh, streams and uh, uh, may combine it. Uh, uh, the example of that is the enriching uh, data of the stream with the data of another. Uh, also, uh, there are uh, other operations uh, in uh, stream such uh, as uh, aggregational operations. Uh, aggregational operations uh, are count, uh, sum, uh, mean, and uh, max. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, in uh, the purpose of the stream that uh, we can uh, read uh, data from one topic, uh, we can uh, do some uh, transformation of it, uh, we can uh, read from several topics, uh, combine it uh, with uh, some logic, and uh, then uh, write uh, that to another topic. Uh, the another abstraction uh, is a uh, uh, table. A table is also uh, part of uh, Java Streams API, and uh, it's a materialized uh, view uh, at a time of a stream. Uh, that means uh, that uh, we consider a topic uh, uh, to be uh, a, a table that contains uh, uh, some records and uh, updates, uh, uh, updates uh, and deletes uh, for them. Uh, to use uh, the cut table, uh, the messages uh, should have uh, a key uh, and a value. Uh, and uh, a cut table is uh, finite uh, bounded and uh, it's, uh, it uh, has a current state. So it's uh, the same topic uh, where uh, we consider each event, event to be insert, update, or delete operation. Uh, here, uh, here are the links uh, for the materials uh, that I uh, used to prepare in this uh, presentation. Now I will show an example. Here I have a few examples uh, of uh, usage uh, uh, Splinf uh, uh, with uh, Kafka. Uh, first example is uh, uh, with uh, Protobuf. Uh, here I have a part above definition of uh, user. Uh, I uh, generate uh, uh, generate uh, the objects uh, with uh, uh, part above uh, plugin 
uh, from it and uh, then they are uh, used uh, as a uh, models user in uh, producer and uh, consumer as uh, other uh, example is with other here i have an other uh, definition and uh, i also uh, use uh, a plugin to generate uh, uh, to generate uh, Java classes from it. Uh, they are generated uh, here in uh, uh, in the build uh, in the build directory. Uh, and uh, uh, here I have uh, an example of a simple stream. Uh, it's uh, only uh, reads from a topic uh, and. Uh, 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 the stream is uh, created, uh, the uh, custom is uh, created here using the builder and uh, uh, it uh, reads uh, messages uh, from the topic and uh, uh, logs them to console. Uh, I will uh, provide a link uh, to uh, my GitHub containing with the data and uh, uh, here uh, is uh, how it uh, works. It's now running, and uh, uh, here, if uh, we provide uh, some uh, data, uh, example, uh, like this, it's uh, uh, sent uh, using uh, consumer to the topic, uh, and uh, uh, then it is consumed uh, by both uh, uh, consumer and uh, uh, stream here. Uh, in practice, uh, we usually will have uh, uh, consumer in, and uh, producer in uh, different uh, applications. And here is uh, how it uh, uh, looks uh, in, uh, uh, in concurrent uh, control center. Uh, here is a, a user's uh, uh, topic. Uh, in uh, my application, uh, user, a user's uh, topic is uh, created uh, automatically with a spin configuration. We also may have uh, bins uh, for topic uh, creation, uh, but here there is uh, no uh, need to uh, use them. Uh, here it is done uh, only based on application EML uh, file. Yeah, I provide the name of uh, the topic uh, and created. Uh, so in the topic, uh, there is a messages uh, that uh, we can read uh, with uh, some offset here. And uh, starting from uh, offset uh, zero, we can see all messages. And here is uh, the schema uh, registered. It was uh, auto registered. And uh, we can uh, see uh, different uh, versions of uh, schema if we have uh, it's uh, uh, from uh, confluent uh, schema registry. Uh, also, this uh, confluent uh, schema registry provides uh, uh, API and uh, uh, the uh, information about uh, schemas uh, can be received uh, with uh, this uh, API. Uh, uh, the schema versions can be updated and uh, deleted uh, uh, manually through this API. Uh, that's it, uh, thank you. Are there questions? Thank you, Alex. Yeah, maybe uh, someone has question, please unmute and ask. Hello, Alex. I have a question. May we get back to the concept of key table? You said that it's finite representation of the data stored in Kafka. Uh, I'm just curious, how is it possible if uh, the data is continuously getting into the queue and getting out of the queue? And here you introduce some finite concept. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, the uh, concept uh, means uh, that uh, we represent uh, uh, the uh, topic uh, as uh, a table. Uh, that uh, uh, in uh, Kappa, all the messages uh, are stored. Uh, 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 are stored in the topic, so, so it's uh, not uh, usual queue, uh, 
uh, because in Q it means uh, that uh, the topic, uh, the the message is uh, isn't accessible when it's uh, received uh, by uh, the client. Uh, while in uh, Kafka, all messages uh, are stored uh, until they are deleted uh, according to the policy uh, that uh, I mentioned before. Uh, so, uh, Katable uh, represents uh, uh, each uh, uh, each event of uh, uh, topic uh, as a uh, insert, update, or delete operation. Uh, so we may have uh, a lot of uh, events in the topic, and uh, uh, for uh, the uh, and uh, we consider uh, that it's a table with. Uh, uh, so, uh, with so many elements, uh, uh, how many unique uh, keys uh, we have uh, in our uh, topic. Uh, and uh, uh, when the new uh, message uh, is added to the topic, uh, it's either a new uh, element of a table. If uh, uh, there is uh, no uh, element in a table with uh, such ID already, uh, with such key, uh, or it is uh, an update of uh, existing uh, element of a table if uh, there is uh, already uh, an, uh, a record with uh, such key. Okay. So, uh, and so what, 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 happens, what happens with the data when it's read by consumer? Is it deleted from K table? Uh, no, it's uh, uh, not uh, deleted uh, from uh, K table. Uh, uh, we delete, uh, 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 we consider data deleted from K table only uh, when we uh, have uh, the event for that. Uh, uh, for example, we are getting uh, the new event uh, uh, with uh, the existing key and uh, null uh, and null value. Okay, thank you. And one one more question regarding uh, resilience. What happens if uh, event processing fails? Are there any retry policies? Is there a retry limit? What happens if the same message fails to be handled like dozens of times? What happens with those events? Uh, yes, uh, there are... Uh, 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 retry uh, policies uh, that can be set and uh, they are uh, managed uh, uh, by the uh, zookeeper. Uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, the zookeeper manages uh, uh, the nodes of uh, the cluster and uh, it uh, defines uh, uh, which not, uh, nodes of the cluster are uh, not accessible and uh, which are accessible to uh, divide uh, the data uh, between uh, between accessible uh, nodes, uh, and uh, of course, uh, if uh, uh, Kafka itself uh, is uh, totally uh, unreachable, uh, uh, we may handle uh, that case on the application level. Mm, it still doesn't explain my question. What happens to the messages that fail to be handled? Uh, if uh, uh, the uh, message can, uh, can't be uh, sent uh, to Kafka, uh, we uh, may uh, handle that on the application. Uh, uh, Kafka itself uh, uh, stores all the messages uh, that uh, were sent uh, before, and uh, they will be available again when it's up. Okay, thank you. I'll probably read more information about it later. Okay, hey, uh, hey Alex, thank you for the presentation. I have one question for you. Um, as I know that uh, schema registry, it's like a solution for uh, one of the product yeah, uh, Kafka Confluent, because this is only one of the potential uh, Kafka implementation. And uh, what if I want to use, for example, custom Kafka, what should I use for this case as schema registry? 
uh, Kafka itself uh, is uh, provided uh, by uh, Confluent uh, and schema uh, uh, registry of uh, Confluent uh, uh, may uh, work with uh, uh, any Kafka. Uh, there should be another uh, another examples of uh, schema registries uh, because uh, uh, the one uh, that's uh, provided uh, by Confluent is not the only implementation, uh, but uh, I hadn't experience with them. Do you mean to use uh, separately schema registry for, from Confluent Kafka and to use common solution with Kafka, custom Kafka? Uh, what do you mean by custom Kafka? Custom, for example, MSK, um, custom Kafka, it's like Kafka, which uh, is deployed on some server, for example, because Kafka Confluent, as I know, this is only one of the solution. Uh, and you should, for example, pay for this package, as I know, schema registry, not from free package. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I know that uh, another, uh, other solutions um, exist, like MSK, for example, uh, in AWS and so on. Uh, yes, uh, other solutions uh, uh, can, can be used, uh, but uh, the uh, one that's provided uh, by Confluent uh, will work uh, with any Kafka instance, uh, 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 it's, uh, and we can use uh, its uh, API, uh, not uh, depending on uh, on which Kafka we use. Uh, uh, it's uh, really uh, from paid, it's uh, free for uh, non-production use, uh, but uh, requires a license uh, for production usage. But as you know, we, uh, if you want to use only this solution in Kafka Confluent, you should uh, pay for whole package for this case. And uh, should it reasonable for this case? Mm. Uh, it uh, may depend on the situation, but of course, uh, as a uh, as a uh, schema registry may be considered. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Other questions? Looks like no. Okay, uh, so I would like to say thank you, Alex, uh, for sharing your knowledge for this presentation and thanks all for joining and uh, for your questions and comments. Uh, guys, uh, we hope this presentation was interesting and useful for you and uh, you will receive a feedback form shortly. Please complete it. Uh, your opinion matters for us and of course we will be happy to see all of you next event.